know, I think, um, you know, cannabis is synonymous with wellness in general. I think wellness is synonymous with love. And I don't think you can have love without having equity and fairness. And, you know, we live in a country where income inequality is an issue, where criminal justice and the disproportionate application of it is an issue. Um, but right now, because there's a limited amount of licensing, this is not like a wing joint or a hamburger stand that anybody can open anywhere. There's a finite number of licenses across every jurisdiction as you grow across the country. So who gets these licenses really matters. Uh, and we have an opportunity to advocate for what's right, for fairness. Uh, and thankfully, we have progressive legislators around the country who are pushing back against what we've already seen be established in this industry, where very few, very wealthy, mostly publicly traded companies out of Canada control almost all of the medical licenses in the Northeast, Midwest, et cetera, et cetera. But as things go from the medical space to the recreational space, Progressive legislators are pushing back, making sure that a number of people from communities that have been dogged by the war on drugs get access to these licenses. So what we do at Fourth Movement is we say, we don't, we don't make you wrong for where you are. We're gonna surround you with all the resources you need to win. Um, and that's really what it's about. There's a finite amount of money here. Who's gonna get it? Because we know what happens when we own businesses in our community, what we do, where we send our kids to school. You know. Um, there's a lot of conversation about fairness as it relates to gentrification. If you don't have money, you don't have resources, you can't invest in real estate in your community. You can't invest in restaurants and, 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 and businesses that employ. You can't leverage your cultural competency to be self-determined for what we see in our community. And I think cannabis is a once in a lifetime opportunity, brand new industry. It's not a brand new thing. It, I mean, it's existed since the beginning of time but the legalization of it and the regulation of it in this country, there is a finite time and the time is now for us to unite around what fairness looks like so we get as big a piece of the pie as possible so we can determine our own outcomes and don't have to work for anybody else.